हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज हाउ वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट द सॉल्यूशन ऑन द नंबर लाइन एंड मेनी अदर थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज एंड हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व अ सिंगल लीनियर इनइक्वालिटी और अ सेट ऑफ लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज ग्राफिकली एंड रिप्रेजेंट द सॉल्यूशन on graph so let's start let us take a linear inequality <clears throat> okay let us say we have a linear inequality 2x plus 3y greater than or or say uh, or say less than equal to 12 right this is the linear inequality that we have we have to draw the graph of this linear inequality and we have to show the solution of this linear inequality on the graph right okay so let us first draw the graph of this linear inequality so for drawing the graph we will use the simple technique that we have already used in class 10th how you draw the graph of an equation you just put some random values of one variable and you find the value of the other variable and you plot those points and this is what we are going to do for this also to to make the graph you just forget that there is a greater than or less than sign you just assume that you have an equal to sign right okay so let us make a table and okay okay we you you can make the graph of this equation by the table method that you have studied in class 10th but there is one another method if if you are if you have already studied the straight lines chapter in class 11 mathematics you all would have known you you all would have know this particular method but if you do not know just listen to this it is a very simple method you just have to see if the coefficients of x and y on the left hand side are the multiples of the number which is present on the right hand side are the factors of the number which is present on the right hand side for example 2 and 3 both are factors of 12 this method will, will always work whether these numbers are the factors of this number or not but if these numbers are factors of this number then you you should use this method because this is a very fast method of drawing a line okay these two are the factors of 12 so you just have to do one thing you have to divide the whole equation by this number and what you will get you will get x by 6 plus y by 4 equal to 1 and this form is called the intercept form of this line intercept form is simply x divided by a plus y divided by b equal to 1 where a and b are the intercepts of the line on x and y axis what are intercepts intercept is simply uh, the distance of origin to that point where the line is cutting the axis for example if we are saying that x intercept is 6 and y intercept is 4 that simply means that this line is cutting the x axis at a distance of 6 units from origin and cutting y axis at a distance of 4 units from origin so this is the line right easily we can draw the line using this method this this coordinates of this point are 0 comma 4 because y intercept is 4 and coordinates of this point are 0 uh, sorry 6 comma 0 6 comma 0 right so first you draw the graph of this equation either by using this method or by the method uh, you already know after making the graph now we have to put now now we have to we have to shade the solution region we already know that the uh, the solution to a linear equation is just Uh, not a single number or a set of numbers it is it is a complete range of values so we have to mark that region 
which is called the solution region, any value which falls in the solution region satisfies the linear inequality. Okay, how we are going to find the solution region? You just have to take any random point on this plane, any random point. There are infinite points on this plane. You can take any random point. The easiest one is 0, 0. If the line is not passing through origin, just take 0, 0 and put 0, 0 on the left hand side. Then what you will get? You will get 2 into 0 and plus 3 into 0 less than equal to 12 which gives 0 is less than equal to 12. Is it true or false? It is absolutely true that 0 is less than equal to 12. Not equal to but 0 is less than 12, right? So it is, it is, it is a true statement. So we have put 0, 0 in place of x and y and we are getting a true statement which means that 0, 0 is satisfying this equation. So any other value which lies in the same region will also satisfy this equation, right? We all know that if, if we take any point on this line, that point will satisfy the equation, not the inequality. If we put 0, 0,4 or 6, 0 or any other point lying on this line, then this answer is going to be 12. We all know this then obviously this line is dividing this plane into two regions from from one region we are going to get those values which will give an answer greater than 12 and from one region we are going to get those values which will give this answer as less than 12 and we need that region because less than sign is present there so if one value from this region is giving this is satisfying this right then the other values will also satisfy then this part this part is the solution region. This part is the solution region. Generally, we shade uh, the, the part, but if, if shading is not possible and you, you think that shading is going to take too much time, you can just draw these lines with arrow signs which shows that this part is the solution region. And this is unbounded region. Because this is not, this is not, there, there is no boundary on this side. Na. You, can, you can put any point till infinity in this and the answer will be less than 12. So all, the, all this region, all this region is the solution region to this inequality, right? Okay. So this is how you can find the solution region, but you have to keep just one thing in mind. If there was no equal to sign, we had just... Uh, this less than sign just remove this sign suppose we had only this sign so whole procedure remains same everything remains same there is one small difference this line you will make this line in dotted form not the solid form right you will make this line as this this right in dotted form not the solid form other thing otherwise everything is same now, this is the solution to just one equation, right? And uh, what you did in class 10th, you solved two equations simultaneously and you, you found a solution which satisfies both the equations. Now, this is what we are going to do in class 11th also. We are given 3, 4 equations and we have to find a solution region which satisfies all these equations simultaneously, right? We have to find a region such that the, any point from that region satisfies all these inequalities simultaneously. So how we are going to do that? We have to draw the graph of each and every inequality given in the question and we will, we will shade the region according to the rules and there will be a region in which the shading of all the inequalities will be present and obviously that is the solution region because in that region you will find every point you will find that every point of that region will satisfy all the inequalities together so let us take the first one first okay 
फर्स्ट आई मेक द ग्राफ यहां से ले लेते हैं यहां से दिस इज आर वाई एक्सेस एंड दिस इज द एक्स एक्सेस राइट ओके दिस इज नॉट इन द सेंटर है ना okay we will first draw the graph of this since uh 2 is not a factor of 3 so we will draw the graph of this by usual methods uh first let us put let us take the value of x so the value of x is 3 plus 2 y the value of x is going to come as 3 plus 2 y now let us put the value of y as suppose 0 then the x is 3 and value of y let us put value of y as uh, minus 1 then 3 minus 2 x is 1 so two points are enough to draw the graph of this equation first point is 3 comma 0 first point is first point is 1 2 3 first point is 3 comma 0 so this is 1 2 3 this is 3 comma 0 and the other point is 1 comma minus 1 so 1 comma minus 1 is this point right 1 comma minus 1 is this point now let's join these this is the graph of the first line okay now let's make the graph of the second one which is 3x plus 4y equal to 12 so we can make the graph of this by uh, that form which is called the intercept form just divide this by 12 so 3x divided by 12 plus 4y divided by 12 equal to 1 so x by 4 plus y by 3 equal to 1 so this line has 4 as x intercept and 3 has 3 as y intercept so where is 4 this is this is this is 4 and 1 to this is 3 so the other line is this this right okay x greater than equal to 0 so first if we put x equal to uh, if we put the equality sign then x equal to 0 means the y axis x equal to 0 is the equation of y axis so third line is nothing but the y axis and fourth line is y equal to 1 so where is y equal to 1 this is y equal to 1 so this is our fourth line this is the fourth line okay now let's do the shading thing since lines are not passing from 0 comma 0 so we can put 0 comma 0 in all the inequalities so first if we put 0 0 in this so 0 minus 0 is less than 3 which is true right 0 minus 0 is less than 3 which is true so this was this line right so the shading will be done towards 0 0 shading will be done towards the 0 0 number uh, sorry point which is the origin yeah shading of this line will be towards this part we have drawn solid lines because all signs were less than equal to and greater than equal to okay now let's put 0 0 here 0 plus 0 greater than 12 which is false 0 plus 0 greater than 12 which is false so the shading is going to come in the other region for this line 
zero zero lies on this side so we are not going to shade this towards this we are going to shade this on the other side because we are getting false statement when we are putting zero zero right so this is the shading of this now x greater than zero x greater than zero means first quadrant right when first or fourth quadrant right x is greater than zero on the right hand side of y axis and y greater than one y greater than one is above this line right so if we shade this if we shade this then if we shade this then the shading is going to come in this region and let's shade for this part also so the shading of let us say yellow le lete isko this now carefully see the region in which the shading of all the lines is present we have four different lines pink dark pink green and yellow right that we have used for shading so where is the region in which all these lines are present i think this one this is the region in which all the all the shading all the colors of the shading are present this then this then this 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 and no this then this then this this is the region in which you can see all the colors that means this any point in this region is satisfying all the inequalities simultaneously right because yellow is there pink is there yellow is there green is there i have counted yellow twice yellow is there pink is there dark pink is there and green is there so this is your final solution region right this is the final solution region any point which is lying either on the lines because any point which is lying either on the lines because equal to sign is there so any point which is lying on the lines is also satisfying the inequalities right so any point which is lying on these boundaries or inside this region is satisfying the all these linear equations simultaneously right so this is how you can find graphically the solution to a single linear equation or solution region to a set of linear inequalities not linear equations linear inequalities right so based on this you can solve exercise 6.2 and 6.3 of the ncrt textbook so go and solve that yourself i'll meet you in the next lecture till then all the best